In this video, we're going to look at Gen 4 display setup for Harvest. First, we're going to make sure our header settings are correct. You're going to go to Menu, Header, then select the Flex Draper up at the top. Then we're going to make sure our width is correct. This is very important for documentation. Also, make sure your record stop height is correct. This is when documentation is turned on and off and helps for accurate yield data. Then we're going to go to our auto controls. Make sure that our header automation is set correct uh, with our height resume, height sensing, and lateral tilt. As well, you can program the dial of speed for aft resume and real position to be activated with your one, two, three buttons on your hydro handle. To program the dial of speed for after real position, press and hold the button until the icon blinks on the corner post display. Now let's look at documentation. We're going to go to the work setup in the lower left. Then we're going to check our location and make sure that your client farm field is selected correctly. Next, we're going to go into equipment and select our combine to look at our offsets. We're going to select combine again. Now we're going to measure our GPS offsets. Make sure you measure your own combine so that it's correct. Now we're going to enter the header offsets. A is your connection offset from your axle to where the header connects. And then there's the work point, And that's from where the header connects to the knife. Note that this work point will be different for an auger head or a draper head or a corn head. Now we want to check our work summary and make sure our crop, variety, and harvest units are correct. Now let's make sure overlap control is on. Overlap control prevents us from documenting areas of the field twice. We're going to go to menu, overlap control, and then we're going to go and turn the master on. Gen 4 systems have a feature that allows you to ignore interior boundaries and exterior boundaries when documenting. I recommend turning those off for now. Now let's get into some harvest calibrations. First, we want to look at our header raise speed calibration, our header calibration, mass flow vibration calibration, moisture sensor temperature calibration, and TCM calibration. Then we'll get into our moisture correction and yield calibration. Anytime a different header is connected to the combine, I recommend doing a feeder house raised speed calibration and a header calibration and a mass flow vibration calibration. First, we're going to go to menu, calibrations and procedures. Then we're going to go to feeder house raised speed calibration and follow the instructions. After that, we're going to do a header calibration and follow the instructions. Remember to lower your auxiliary sensors on the header when calibrating for rigid mode. When the sensors are down, the combine will calibrate for rigid mode. When the sensors are in storage position, the combine will calibrate for flex mode. Mass flow vibration calibration. For this calibration, you want to make sure the separator and header are engaged and the header is in operating position and that the grain tank is empty. What's going on during this calibration is the sensors registering a no-flow situation and basically measuring the vibration out of the machine without any grain flow. Therefore, when grain flow is going across the sensor, it can differentiate what is actual grain flow versus what is just machine vibration. Next, we want to do our moisture sensor temperature calibration. First, we need to make sure that our moisture sensor is empty. To do this, take out the two pins at the bottom of the sensor remove the little auger and make sure everything's empty. Put it back together and then proceed with the calibration. This calibration is really just setting to make sure the temperature is reading co correctly. What you want to do is offset it so that the sensor temperature measures the same as the ambient temperature outside the combine. Next thing, receiver. So select your receiver, go to the setup tab and enter your height. This is very important. As you'll see, the height differs quite a bit um, from a tractor. So if you're taking a receiver from your tractor to your combine, you've got to make sure this height is correct. And then while we're in this page, I just wanted to mention, make sure that uh, you calibrate your TCM.
If that's moved or you have a new header on the front of the combine, it's always a good idea to calibrate that TCM. These next two calibrations take place in the field. The first one is the moisture correction. And basically we wanna make sure the moisture meter in the combine matches what we know to be true. To set the moisture correction, go to menu, then grain handling, then select correction. Remember, moisture correction equals actual moisture minus combine moisture. For example, if the elevator was 13%, and your combine was reading 12%, that would equate to a positive 1% offset. Finally, you'll want to do a yield calibration in the field. Go to Menu, Calibrations and Procedures, and find the yield calibration. Please refer to John Deere's YouTube channel called Go Harvest for complete details on doing a yield calibration for your John Deere combine.